um, from the manufacturer's point of view, a few um, information going out to you with a clear message that we are at full availability, at full capacity for your needs in this crisis and after this crisis. Uh, for those of you who don't know us, just very briefly, a quick introduction of our company. Brisbane Group is the number one cable manufacturer in the world. We do have roughly 100, 106 plants all around the globe. You find us with affiliates in 50 countries. We have um, 29,000 employees and very important, we have 25 R&D centers. Um, the application engineering and the research and development is very important for us because it helps us to understand, first of all, the needs of our customers and second, to develop in the right direction uh, to make sure that we provide to our customers um, innovative technologies that are safe and sustainable for the future. Having said that, for the quartz industry, a um, quick view what we have in the basket uh, to support this industry and keep the operations running. As you can see here on the slide, uh, we deliver almost everything that you need in the quartz operation. So from the very local infrastructure cable, we also supply the cables for the um, power generation in renewable energies, like wind, wind tower cables and um, solar cables. We do have uh, cables for e-mobility and we have developed cables for the uh, shore connection for alternative marine power to feed the vessels from the local grid during the late time at peak. Um, the focus today is a little bit more on the flexible cables installed on the trains um, because um, this pandemic, pandemic is causing short-term concerns to all of us, but there will be a world after this pandemic. And our customers continue to look for reliable equipment and future-proofed technologies. So as a cable manufacturer, we, we, we take and focus the challenges of the future and the future opportunities. That means, first of all, to understand what are actually the KPIs in the port side. Um, what is uh, the most important uh, performance uh, indicators for, for the port operators? Minimizing downtime of the crane operations and increasing the throughput. Ensuring faster and trouble free container loading. Also important, important safety aspects to ensure uh, access operations that means reducing the number of people on site separate the man from the machine and social distancing um, it means also to increase of course the level of automation otherwise uh, you, you you never reach this um, accident free operations and you cannot reduce the number of people on site and then last but not least environmental aspects uh, the target of zero emission um, and that brings me back to this slide because with the complete um, cable basket for all purposes in the port, we are able to help you uh, to reach the target of zero emission port operations um, with all the cables that I just showed you on this slide. However, this, um, what means that for the cables? Uh, for the cables, it means high mechanical stress especially for the reeling operations. Uh, it means stresses like um, environmental impacts from UV or ozone. Uh, this is playing an additional role, especially when it comes to the compound development. It's also the high utilization rate, like 24 seven operations means a much higher portion of stress to the cables. Um, the increase of speed, to 270 meters per minute in the yard cranes, uh, but also the distance that the crane has to drive nowadays. Um, and then the fact that uh, for, for cost optimization, the majority of all cable selections is right to the limit what a cable can do. That means uh, from day one on, the cable is permanently operated at its limit. 
that's different from, from, from the past. That's um, 10 years ago, there was always a bit of a tolerance given to, to a cable. Um, I mean, from, from the outside, the cable looks pretty, pretty much commodity. Uh, one is looking like the other. Uh, but from the outside looking in, you understand where the differences are. There is clear differentiation in the design parameters of a cable to make it better resistant to uh, the recent, most recent requirements from the operation. Um, and I would like to draw your attention because we only have 10 minutes time to speak um, to two core or key developments that we recently did. Um, and I focus you on the main power supply because um, nothing works without power. And if the main power supply reading cable breaks, you have a problem because the grain is out of power. From that point of view, the main power supply cable is like an umbilical cord for your operation. Um, as I just mentioned that the mechanical stress to the cables um, is becoming bigger and bigger, higher and higher. We have developed, first developed um, our cable to make it better resistant to these um, high mechanical requirements. Um, this cable is called um, Protolon SMK HS with the HS standing for high speed. High speed means uh, 270 meters per minute, 300 and even beyond. Um, with uh, certain design features, we are able to make this cable better resistant to both the, the mechanical stress coming from the operation, but also to the fact that the world is perfect. Um, just a few core features here. We have integrated here a special support element to increase the permissible tensile load to the cable. That's important for the higher, bigger grains sitting, the drum sitting really high, distance is going longer and in the yard going really speedy. Um, what we also have done here is we are using a, an extreme special insulation compound uh, that is giving such extreme good uh, electrical characteristic that allows us to optimize the wall thickness of the insulation further and give the room that we say to the sheath system because the sheath system is acting a little bit like a buffer to keep all the mechanical stress as much as possible outside of the cable. So um, combined with um, high resistance tor anti torsion rate, we are able to manufacture this cable in any sort of customized or tailored uh, design with integrated fibers, with integrated pilots, with bus pairs, whatever the requirement is. Um, we can integrate that into this cable. However, looking one step ahead, um, the world of the future is looking for more automation. And we are pretty sure that in the near future, almost every single component in a port will be monitored. And who knows best how it feels? the component itself, in our case, the cable. So we have developed a cable, to say it in easy words, that speaks to you and tells you in every single moment how it feels. Why are we doing that? We are doing that because uh, there are repeating the issues coming up from the operations on site. You see that in the two images that I put in here. On the left-hand side, the cable jumps off the roller guide. You have a loop laying on the rail, and in a few seconds, the grain will drive over. A very popular, most popular, I would say, uh, issue that comes from the operations uh, is on the right hand side twist and tension, over tension actually, that are coming from issues in uh, deviating from um, the, the reeling setup, for example, or even mistakes done during the installation. So, what this cable does is it tells you exactly how it feels during the entire operation, 24-7. It monitors itself and raises the finger saying, guys, if you continue this way, I give up. <laughs> so the cable is not, it, the system is actually not just the cable. What you see um, in the lower lane, um, there is a special sensor integrated into the cable. 
there is certain um, software behind these measurements and of course our measurement devices. We do have measurement device for a central measurement. That means you can monitor a certain number of cranes at the same time. And from the third quarter on, we will also have available um, so-called onboard unit for those that want to monitor um, the cable installation just on the grain. Um, the whole story is relatively easy to handle because there's a simple traffic light, green of course means all good, you can continue to operate. Yellow means there is slowly coming up an issue and to explain a little better what is meant by this, when you look on the picture on the uh, upper right hand side, uh, this cable, um, the, the cable view, how it looks like, is actually just the end of the story. By the time the problem starts, you can't see it. It's starting probably half a year ago, um, slowly coming up and becoming worse and worse. And this system is ready to read it from the first deviation outside the roots. That means you can proactively remove the problem, for example, changing the setup of the rollers or the, the, the reeling system, uh, proactively, not reactively, um, and avoid the cable from failing in this way. So we are able 24-7 exactly when, where, and what happened to the cable to turn that into actions to avoid the cable from failing. Um, as an integrated solution with the reeling system, that means um, we are coming from condition-based maintenance to ideally predictive maintenance. Um, we also know by the time we measure already where in the yard I have a problem. That means the location of the failure is already done. You don't need to waste any time about uh, or to identify where the failure is. Um, we reduce in this way the risk of unexpected downtimes just due to cable failures and we optimize the cable and asset utilization in your yard. In other words, we improve the reliability of your equipment and we extend the cable's lifetime. This message goes out to you today. Um, we are here for you, we are listening to you, we optimize and customize this uh, monitoring system and any other cable solution for you. Um, all you need to do is contacting us for the time at the moment, really much remote, but I'm sure we will be back and sit at the table and discuss uh, solutions for your purpose and your demands. Thank you very much for your attention. If there's any question, I'm here for the Q&A session afterwards, uh, but you can also drop an email to our email address and uh, we come back to you with answers. Thank you very much.